Hello, this is not a spring chick, and yes, it's the day after the Emmys. I know. <laughs> it's like most of my friends are going like, oh yeah, the day after the Emmys, you just sleep in and rest. Actually, they're all going to their computers and looking to see where their pictures are posted from yesterday. <laughs> Meanwhile, the news still continues. Oh, but we will tell you what's hot real quick. Chartreuse, or is it lemon lime? Earrings, no necklaces, no bracelets. No legs. No legs. Everything's all covered up. Ooh. And for now, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, as far as the, okay, the donors are pulling their money away from the Romney campaign because they said Romney refuses to listen to anyone. They said every every conservative pundit out there says he's running one of the worst campaigns in his nation's history and that he's, he's on the verge. They couldn't possibly lose the Senate. The way it worked is there were two-thirds of the people up for uh, two-thirds of the Senate seats for the first time in history were from one party, which meant it was a guarantee that the Republicans would take at least half of the Senate seats up. They're, they're going to lose a seat, besides not taking as many as they figured. What? They're, they're going to lose, because they said directly because of Mitt Romney, they're going to, to lose five seats that they knew they were going to win no matter what, and they're going to lose one of the Senate seats they had is Scott Brown, because Scott Brown basically is nothing more than a de facto Mitt Romney. Oh. I mean, this guy will vote to spend money at the drop of a hat. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, well then the fact that two of the Senate seats also, I think Olympia Snow and Susan Collins, are going to go independent because they don't like either Republicans or Democrats <laughs> in their states. And where are the solar panels, Mr. President? Well, yeah, because well, what happened was the President of the United States is big on green energy. Of course, he's big on green energy also in other countries, and he's funding other programs. Oh, I forgot. He's in Rex Worcester's ground. Hey, Bill O'Reilly, he left Worcester's ground and put him on the The president has been funding green energy plants here and at the same time funding green energy plants in other countries who are undercutting our green energy plants. So we're currently installing solar panels made in China on federal buildings where there is a requirement that you must use American, uh, American stuff first because as Rex doesn't want to hear. Our president doesn't give a rat's ass about what the laws and rules are. He does whatever is best for the president. Mm. And president admits the tech ads are not truthful, but he has nothing to do with them. Um, even though at the bottom of the ad it says approved, I approve this ad. I am Barack Obama and I approve this ad. He hasn't anything to do with it because it's not him that's doing it, it's those other people. And they just ask the question, no, they're your ads. The other ads are more truthful. The other attack ads, which are really slanderous, are more truthful than what you're saying. And he said, I have nothing to do with those ads. Um, you know, and basically, what happens is he has been fined one, uh, just, um, just um, a daily ritual of finding the Obama campaign guilty of violating a campaign rule. Mm -hmm. One day after another, they just find him guilty. And he doesn't give a kick. Doesn't care because he, doesn't care. he knows as long as he holds the Senate, he's president. But here's what one of the guys just on television said in there, listening. He said, "We guarantee you that in 2012, the Republican leadership that currently is in place will no longer be in." But this is 2012. Yes, but we're talking the day after the election. We're going to kick rid of, kick their asses out, and replace them with people. We will take the Senate, and then when the Senate is taken, the man will go to where he deserves to be for breaking all the laws. Said you can break laws as president, but you can't violate the Constitution. When you violate the Constitution, you then get impeached. And then when you're impeached, then they go after you for breaking the laws. Mm -hmm. And Brown claims Warren exploited the, or exploited the Cherokee heritage. Doesn't make any difference. They said a woman that could not possibly be winning the election in the state of Massachusetts because they don't like her, and she's not even from Massachusetts. You know, but she and she lived there because she phonied up she phonied up a, a resume to get a, to force the college that was at Harvard to give her a job in violation of all of the rules. Is going to win the election because given a choice between a liberal Scott Brown who votes with the Democrats on every issue of the spending, or a woman that votes with the president on every issue of spending.
the people of Massachusetts just going to take the Democrat rather than put the Republican name out there. And Romney Ricks. <laughs> Obama on can't change Washington comment. Oh yeah, Warren and Obama basically said Romney basically is lying. No, the President of the United States is now running as the outsider. You know, he's the guy that had, you have to give me a, and we're going to have to change the way Washington is done. I need a super majority in order to be able to take this country back from George Bush and Republicans and then, uh, here we go. The guy said, Mr. President, George Bush is not in charge and neither is the Republicans. You and your party are in charge. Mm -hmm. he, he basically, um, he, he, what they've done is if you have no responses, George Bush and the Republicans. They do have a list of the thing. George Bush and the Republicans were responsible for the Spanish Inquisition. George Bush and the Republicans' biggest crime was the meteor hitting the earth that killed all the dinosaurs because everyone knows that those dinosaurs would have voted Democrat if they'd had an opportunity. And Romney, I don't need a turnaround. Um, basically, he lost 39,000 donors because he refuses to listen to anything that anybody is saying. They said it right now is irrelevant if he wins the debates. Here's what one of the people said to handle the debate. He said, what you do, Mr. President, is uh, take a, a, a bag load of, of um, cow manure and he said, basically, I didn't call it cow manure, but they've censored me. Take it to the debate, walk up to the president, dump it, on his, dump it right on his feet, and said, this is what your campaign is composed of, and then don't debate and leave. Mm -hmm. Because he said it's irrelevant, because they already know that he, the president has been declared the winner and already have the headlines written. They all, they're already telling you what Romney has done wrong. You know, basically, when the press knows what the president is going to be saying, and they're writing the stories now, that's just ungodly wrong, totally wrong. And teen sentence and sex assault, Twitter case in Kentucky. Okay, this is the problem is, you basically, these people, uh, uh, a girl is attacked, the law specifically says that she must, her lawyers must be notified of any, of any deal made with the, the people being prosecuted. So when she found out that they basically let them off the hook with, this, with the suspended sentence, she went on Twitter about it, and they threatened to throw her behind. They threatened to give her jail time when they let the attackers off. But they did They did tell the attackers, you must give us all of those naked pictures if you shot of the girl while she was being raped. And they what? Said, yeah, they did tell them. They had to give them the pictures of the, of the attack. Uh, and return and give them to the girl. Of course, they were put out on Twitter, and they're all over the known universe. I mean, the girl they said she literally got screwed by this judge, and they're wanting, they're demanding the judge and the prosecutor in the case be removed from their offices because it was a malfeasance of duty. I mean, you know, they, they basically let the guys off the hook and were trying to cr criminally prosecute the female. What? Yeah. Oh. My and, God. oh uh, this uh, covers this. They're Democrats, folks. They're not Republicans. Democrats don't believe. Remember, you are responsible for the crime that happens to you. The the person that did it is not responsible. If you hadn't had what they, if you didn't simply, you know, let them you know, let them have sex with you, you wouldn't have been raped. If you'd give them your wallet, you wouldn't have been killed. So you're responsible, not them. Romney dishes, loves Snooky, and sleeps in as little as possible. Yeah, I know, Romney, they said, Romney is, they have no idea why he is going on programs where they hate Republicans, because you're going to get chewed up. I mean, uh, and it said that he's now considering going on the Letterman show, and he knows Letterman hates him. Mm -hmm. That you're never going to get a fair shake when you're going on a show where you know they don't like you. And plans for giant Antarctic marine sanctuary falter. Yeah, well, because there's no money. Um, they're, they're flat out. Well, you don't have to go to the Antarctic to learn, to, you know, to do it. You can do it anywhere today. The, the universe, you know, like, is a it, 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 we're an internet world, whether they want to admit it or not, in the new me, in old media. And NASA's retired shuttle Endeavour heads west Monday. Oh yeah, I hate to tell people. You know, it is, today is Monday, and, when, and then it didn't go west Monday, it didn't go west until Wednesday. So you're talking about bad, it's bad journalism any direction you go. 
And scientists ID new species of monkey in Congo. They keep telling you there are new new species, and they keep turning up new species. You know why? Why? Because a god awful amount of this world has never been explored. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. Why is it that if your vote is needed by a political group, that you don't have to follow the same rules as anybody else when you're voting? 